Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hello and welcome to another episode of Cut the Tape. Hi. That's my hairy hand. I am Rick Alvarez and I... Bought a camera stand. Yay! It looks like my dance teacher's one. It body. looks like a dance teacher's one. Okay. My dance teacher had the same one. That's great story. Great story, Casey. So, cut the tape. I got a camera stand, and I got some positive feedback uh, from just one person last week. So I thought I'd try it again, and I'm going to try... Cutting the tape on a couple different items. So this is this is the test episode. This is the test episode. Yeah, what is it, Casey? I told them that I got something. Okay, tell them real quick, real loud. I got some contacts. Casey got contact lenses. She's nine years old. Good grief. Um, she got contacts because uh, gymnastics and stuff. All right, so I'm going to start with something small and work my way up to something larger. And I'm gonna. I'm, this is really for me to test the camera. All right. So this is the first thing I'm gonna open in my box. In my t now it's two tubs and a box of stuff I have to open. So this is Siege War for Cybertron, Rumble and Frenzy. These were tough to find. I'm not gonna lie. These were super tough to find. I think this set was sent to me from England. That's how tough it was to find. I'm surprised these haven't come out again under Earthrise. So, with this new angle, I'm gonna repeat some of the things I've talked about before. You, you wanna have a fresh, fresh blade. One that glides like butter on your card. If you're very particular about keeping your card, that's the type of blade you wanna have. And remember, always cut towards your enemies never cut towards yourself so now you have a beautiful clean card casey would you like this card mm -hmm. yeah you can have that can that's your that yeah that's poster? yours n now and forever mm. all right so we have instructions no bio which is always very bothersome to me. you guys hear me say that every single week now i'm going to separate everything because i love to recycle Cut these over here so that we get all the little pieces in. Casey, I thought you were watching Fuller House. Oh, no. no, now you're not Mom's anymore. Gonna, Mom's taking a call, so when she comes up, gonna, gonna... Okay. Alright. Now, normally, I would cut these little bands with my clippers, but um, since I've cleaned up, isn't that always the case? You clean, and then you can't find something. Mom used to do that to me when I was a little girl. She would clean, you're and then... You're a boy, not a boy. I'm, I'm, Thank you, and I'm, I'm such a boy. All right, this is recyclable. Recycle that. All right. We got Rumble Frenzy. On the package, he's called... Oh, actually... You know, the great debate of whether he's called Rumble or Frenzy. On the package, he's actually called Spinister. So that's that's something. But he transforms. I mean, it's not... I mean, compared to G1, you know, these are... It's hard to compare these to G1, actually. I, I want to, but it's... These have a completely different transformation sequence. How, do, how does this even go? Can I try? No, absolutely not. Yes, of course you can try. I'm gonna do this like this. This is why I don't transform things on the show because 
I don't want to get stuck, and that doesn't make for good entertainment. They can only see your thumb. I know they can only see my thumb in my hands. That's that's the best part. That is the best part of me. Does this open up? I forget. I don't think I've I don't think I've ever transformed the frenzy or the rumble. The rumble. Made in Vietnam. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, where's that, uh... Where's that card back, Casey? Anyway, that's what it looks like when you transform it. Oh, there it is. There it is. No more, like... Dip, dip, dip. You know where I used to, like... Like take out one of the transformers on that shelf. Here you go. And I go here, Casey, grab it. All right, she grabbed it. And here is Ratbat. Ratbat was one of my favorite ones growing up as a kid. Hey, it's Ratbat. Joy. So I think I noticed with this camera angle that my thumbs are getting in the way. So, I will address that in the next video. All right, I think what I have to do is move the camera up higher. Like, put the camera on top of something. Give me that box over there, that Rescue Bots Academy box. Right there, the big one, Rescue Bots Academy, yes. Give it, give it to me now. All right, thank you. Yay. You know what, give me that Masters of the Universe uh, mega construction set. Yep. Give me that one. And now, oh, look at that. All right, but now, now I'm farther away. You can't solve this. Hi. If I can't, if I can solve it, you can, Casey. All right, so this is a, a card attack. I'm gonna move. What, what do you want? Can I get a transformer from the shelf? No! Yeah. No, 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 so no, no. Is that a clue? No, not without me. Not without me helping you. I have to help you in order to get him down from the shelf. Okay. The low shelf? Yep. All right. So now we have Autobot Twinferno, who is a new character to Robots in Disguise. This is something I was looking forward to opening because it's a new character. I don't think he's appeared anywhere else. So here is Card Bat Cutting Test version 2. Alright, it's a fresh blade. We're cutting. We're cutting. See, now because I've elevated the camera, I'm further away from the item. Alright, so there's a, there's a good cut. Alright, if you wanted to file this in like your file folder, that's pretty good. I used to save all these card backs, but it got. It got to be too much, and I'm like, why? I already have another version of it carded. I have one carded, I have one loose. Why do I need to save the card back? I don't need to save the card back. Slice. Slice and dice. Slice and dice. Slice and dice. Um, two points if you know that reference. Oh, Frank Miller. It feels like Frank Miller wrote 2020. All right. Yes, yeah, so you can take that. Recycle this. No, no, no. Okay, I wasn't talking to you, Casey. Oh. All right. Twinferno, new character, turns into a two-headed jet of some sort. So before... Earthrise and um, King, I guess Kingdom, maybe not Kingdom, but uh, Siege, and they. No, no, Casey, leave that there. So, you had this blast effect, right? And then it led. Well, maybe it led to the blast effects that we get now in. Um, War for Cybertron and uh, Siege, Earthrise. I 
haven't seen any of those for Kingdom yet. All right, so I got rid of the package. I gave it to Casey Girl. What? I'm going to try and transform this without having looked at what it's supposed to transform into. I know it becomes a jet. Maybe this comes up here. Yeah, okay, so it looks like there's a peg here. Click. Daddy? Click. What is it, Casey Girl? If you um, buy all of those things that are on the wall, why do you don't use them? Oh, those, those ones, because, all right, as I was telling the person watching at home, um, I buy two of everything, one to keep sealed, one to open. All right, what am I missing here? What am I missing? That's the beauty of modern, modern technology. See, it just pops right back in. What am I missing? Because the thigh bone here... That, see, that's connected to the leg bone, okay. right? And then the leg bone. Daddy. Yeah, Casey. When, when we yeah, absolutely. You want to film your own videos? Let me tell you something, people. Casey is amazing at video editing. Yeah. She really is. Uh, I don't know how to video edit on my phone, but oh my gosh, let me tell you, Casey can video edit on her phone. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, I'm it's supposed to be simple for kids, right? But I, a 41-year-old man who used to work on the brand, can't transform it properly. What does that say about the brand, or what does that say about me? Okay, moving on. Yeah, you'll have a light. You'll, you'll have a light. That's, that's great. All right. So, see, now what I'm experiencing is the items don't fit into the camera screen. So, I think what I need to do is elevate the camera behind me. Like, if I put it behind me and then stick something on it. So, that's what we'll do for the next episode. All right. This is my first time opening up a rescue bot mega mighty i believe it's my first time opening up a rescue bot mega mighty let me look at my case over there is it, casey let me see the case okay. nope i don't have any is there a big giant bumblebee in that case against the wall nope not what i'm looking for okay so i have not opened a mega mighty before so the mega mighties i bought thinking all right I'm not really into rescue bots. I'm just going to buy one. But hey, you know, on clearance, the price is right. I will indeed buy a second one to open. I think it was just Optimus Bumblebee and Heatwave. I think those were just the. Th oh, maybe Hotshot. Maybe there were four of them. All right, so this is really for kids. This is supposed to be a kid's introduction into the brand. Right, so here it says... Do you just keep this chocolate in the box? Yeah, we will keep that chocolate in the box. Because that chocolate, Casey, is older than you are. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to eat that chocolate. Okay. So it says, Heat Wave, the fire bot is ready to roll out and save the day. But what does that really tell you about Heat Wave? I mean, it's more of a bio than we get on anything else. But what does it tell you about Heat Wave? Nope. Daddy, Snip. Do you have more than You have to say the question loud so the audience can hear you. Do I have more than 1,000 transformers? Yes, Casey. I lost count at around 7,000 figures. Yeah, that was that was over 20 years ago. Anyway, all right, so here we go. So Casey is a fan of the, I guess the, the Titan, like the, the Titan Marvel figure. She's got a couple. She said Iron Man, Spider-Man. Captain Marvel, I lost it. Captain Marvel, you got Ant-Man. Santa Claus brought you Ant-Man. And then, uh, um, did you have a Black Panther? No. No. Mm -hmm. She wants a Black Panther. That's so, a girl. so this, if you want a Black Panther, that's a girl. Well, maybe. 
R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman. So maybe if I just tilt the camera up a little more, you can see it more. But this has way, way more articulation than those Titan figures. Those are five points of articulation. This has a ball. It's not quite a ball and socket joint. It's the ball joint, but it has um, a pin through it. It also has the waist and the head. And I'm pretty sure I can pop this head off because it looks like it's on a giant ball joint. I don't want to pop it off because I don't want to break it. But it's got way more mobility than the other ones. It's got, fortunately, this one. It's got a bad spray over. Do we dare fix it? Don't. See how they sprayed over a little bit? And it looks like he's crying. Oh, you know what? It kind of looks like he's crying. We'll leave it. It kind of looks like he's crying. I'm sad because all those puppies died in the fire. Anyway, that's pretty dark. Um, is it five millimeter? It is five millimeter ports. Hey, so he... Dark, I said dark. Oscuro, dark. Like how you said it. Like so the one thing about Heat Wave that's, I guess about the rescue bots in general, is that their faces, their heads, are really shaped in a significant way pertaining to the vehicle that they originally had scanned. I do like that. I, I really do like that. It adds a little more character to them. It's not good for every character for Transformers, but in this situation, for these younger style bots, it fits. It definitely fits and it works. And I'll just show you the back. Daddy, and is this a fun? No, that is not glow in the dark. Because uh, the reason that's. Casey, bring that over here. The reason this is clear is because. I'll tell you what this is. This is the uh, FCF, I think it was Act 2, uh, Power Master Optimus Prime. The reason it's clear is because uh, uh, a clear figure is popular to collect in Japan. And so these would be blind packed, you know, where you can't tell who's inside. Yeah. So these were the first Transformers that were blind packed. And you can get one in color or you can get one clear. And then later on, they switched to pewter. So pewter is like a gray color instead of clear. And this one, I don't know if you can, there you go. You can kind of see it started to yellow. Even the base has started to yellow. And this has lived in the darkness pretty much since I got it. And I just broke this out to display it for the first time. Can I have so, Alright, put this back. Can I have yeah. Alright, so. Number four. Let's see here. Item number four. I'm going to have to play around with this camera angle. Cyberverse Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Cyberverse Bumblebee. Now this is the giant Bumblebee. It's always weird when you get a character when it's like, hey, here, hi Maddie, Maddie's joining us now everybody, where you get a character and, <laughs> hey, here's that character, okay, thank you, here's that character, right? What's that? But then, this is Twinferno, no, which is a very clever, no, no, this is called a camera, that's a camera stand. And you have a character, and look, hey, look, there's Twinferno, right? Oh, look at that. But there's Bumblebee. And it's like, whoa, that what doesn't make these? sense. Toys, here, go play with that. What don't that? don't play with this. What Always put your knives away. What they turn into? Stuff. They turn into stuff. So, you have your giant figure, which is of a younger character, which is supposed to be smaller because they're younger, and youth signifies size in some cases. When youth signifies size is reversed, oftentimes intelligence is also reversed. So the larger a character is, but the younger they are, diminishes their intelligence. I don't like that. I didn't make the rules to writing but that seems to be the MO of our culture when we're writing pop culture. 
Look at any cartoon and you will notice that. <laughs> All right. So let's cut the tape. Um, yes, eventually you can. Anyone can cut the tape. All right, is there a bio on the back of this? No, there's no bio on the back of this. It's okay, Maddie, I'm not yelling at you. I'm yelling with you. Yes, you did it. Show, show, look, you transformed them better than I could. Fantastical. All right, we have our instructions. All right, take the knife. I know. All right, this is the special bumblebee it's, knife. You see, it's it's yellow and black. I know. It's All right, like I'm so, cutting like vegetables. I cut vegetables by myself. All right, cut right here. I know. Okay. Yep. Move your hand. Oh, okay. So we actually <laughs> bent the knife. Let me uh, finish cutting this. Can Split. I cut that one? All right, you can cut that one. Sure. Okay. Can I transform it? Um. Well, yes, you can. Well, you know what? We're gonna tr we're gonna see what happens first. Well, I did this. See? Sure, you did. Very easy. Sure. All right. So now we have a giant bumblebee, and this figure. Holy crap! This figure feels and looks. Like it's a deluxe Cyberverse figure that's just been upscaled. This is an R.I.D. figure. This is a Cyberverse figure. Cyberverse is a little younger. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. What? You little monsters. Um, on the weekend, Casey, you see I'm filming here. Can you not ask me about the weekend stuff? <laughs> I mean, come on. This is a very professional podcast. All right, let's see. So this is my first time handling... Oh, did I open an Optimus? Did I open an Optimus Prime? I did not open an Optimus in this size. All right. Can I just pull an Optimus Prime? Yeah, here, that's Twinferno. Go knock yourself out. All right. Get out of here. All right, so we have one hand, and then we have another hand, and then this hand is a blade. And how is blade activated? Oh, no, come on. It's got to be better than that. It's got to be spring-loaded or something. Wait, I know how to transform this thing. Come on. It's got to be spring-loaded. I just found it. See, Daddy? Oh, that's wonderful. Can I show that? Sure. There we go. I just found it. Sure you did. You sure did. Oh, there's a little tab. Oh, see, okay, so this is what you do. Press this little tab here, and he gives you the stinger. Ha! Here, take that. Your mother doesn't really work that well. No, no. I mean, Daddy. Uh, they, they usually all, like, do it at their butt. Like, okay, mm -hmm. yes, uh, but this is not a real it's bumblebee. Like, this is like, a... Tr it's like they're farting. Th like this is a Transformers bumblebee, so it's not, it's they, not a real bumblebee. They do this to plants. Give five okay. to the plant okay. and then four to the Okay, door. thank you for sharing that. Uh, and now we all know. And knowings have to battle. Yes, I know that too. Thank you. Um, I did something wrong here. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Oh, there we go. All right. Yeah. Please, no. Please put that back. Oh my gosh. Nothing. Nothing right now. Transform into silence. Is that a special one? Um. Yes. Well, that's kind of mean to say. Special. We don't say special anymore. We say challenged. Daddy, Casey Tish should move that. Oh, no, that's not good. Why, Casey? 
That's not how we dance, girl. That's not that's not age appropriate. <laughs> All right, so there it is. There's a bumblebee. What's this that? this vehicle mode is actually that's a pretty good vehicle mode. It's like part Camaro, but it's got the curvy ass of a of a beetle. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not a bad vehicle mode. It doesn't make it a good transformer, but it's not a bad vehicle mode. Wait, is that like a house? Um, it, underneath here, yes. What is she talking about? She's talking about this. A Transformers Rescue Bot base. Wait, is it... Does it, and is it a car too? It's a car and it's a base. And you know what? We'll leave it here and we'll cut the tape on that next week. All right. So everybody say bye to Maddie. What's this? That's a box. No, this. Oh, that, that is my hairy leg. And that is, um, heat wave. All right, Maddie, say goodbye to everybody. Bye. No, that's not. <laughs> don't do that. Don't, don't do that. All bye. right. Bye. <laughs>